Hey guys, thanks so much for watching another one of my vlogs. Unfortunately, it has been another crazy week, and so I'm going to do another voiceover vlog, which you guys did seem to like, and I thought it was kind of fun. It's a different uh, view. I'm currently getting the morning chores started so that I can get them done and hustle along before the morning lessons and morning rides start. Honestly, with all of the horses that are needing extra care, mine included, the last two weeks, and the schooling combined test that we are hosting in a week, I have been quite stressed out and honestly a little down. I've just been going through a lot emotionally, even in my personal life, and having these long stressful days at work, it's just been really hard. So I'm just trying to power through this day and kind of get my mojo back. As for my morning chores, I always start with feeding horses. While some of the horses are eating grain, I use that opportunity while the paddocks are empty to muck the turnout paddocks. It is Saturday at the farm, which means I need to fill all the water troughs, make sure there is hay out by the paddocks, and everything is set for my day off so that things run smoothly while I'm not here. Filling water troughs and putting hay out is just a few of the odds and ends that I'm going to be doing while I do my regular morning chores, like putting horses out and bringing horses in. So I'm going to move some horses around now. Once all of the horses are eating and turned out, the first order of business is getting Storm's foot soaked and getting her rewrapped for the day. While Storm's foot is soaking, I sometimes attempt to get some chores done. For instance, I'm going to get the hay gain going and throw some hay down. We'll see if she'll stand for it. Sometimes she will and sometimes she won't. <laughs> As you can see, she likes to test me while I try to get things done. <laughs> I have been hustling pretty fast this morning and my watch is letting me know by thinking that I'm trying to work out when really I'm just doing my job. But it is always nice to know that you work hard when your Apple Watch thinks you're working out while you're just working. <laughs> You may notice me walking a little goofy at times during the vlog today. One of the new boarders horses stepped on my foot twice and it's really been bothering me. I'm not sure if there's like a hairline fracture or if I have some nerve damage, but I've kind of been hobbling around. That's definitely been a little bit of why I've been a little down is it hurts to ride with my foot in a stirrup, it hurts to run, so I'm feeling a little bit like my good stress outlets are not things that I can do right now. As you may notice, I have to keep checking on Storm, but her soaking time is officially up. So it is time to move on to Doppler and his cold hosing this morning.
to update you guys a little bit on Doppler, he has been doing well, just like Storm. He has been going out in standing wraps overnight per the vet's recommendation. I'm going to be cold hosing his leg this morning and then he will get an ice pack on it after I cold hose. He will also get a beamer session early this morning as well. And I've been trying to do that routine three to four times a day. I'm going to drop in some photos here of what the swelling looked like on day one when I found it and where we are at now. And then he has his recheck this upcoming week with the vet and we will be seeing how he's doing. Doppler is done with his first cold hosing session of the day and he can go back in his stall now. I am going to reward him with one of his favorite treats, a pop tart. They didn't have his favorite brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts though, so we're trying a new one today. Blueberry, I don't know if he'll like them. We're going to find out. He definitely seems skeptical of this flavor and I think we're going to have to stick with cinnamon in the future. I will make sure to stock up for him. Storm and Dobbler combined probably are taking up an hour of the beginning of my morning right now. So now that they are set for a little bit, I can get to the rest of my chores and take care of some of the other horses' therapies, muck stalls, etc. that I need to get done. To add to my stress for the day, Norman destroyed his paddock fencing last night. He is actually notorious for being a little bit of an escape artist and destructive, so in a way it was nothing new, but ugh, something to deal with. Thankfully, the morning chores are now done and I get to take a little bit of a breather by taking Doppler out for his tack walk. So I'm going to take him out for his tack walk now and take a deep breath, enjoy some fresh air before I get to the second half of my day. The second half of my day really flew by since Doppler needed more cold hosing, Storm needed more foot soaking, and there were lessons that were in and out of the barn the whole afternoon. So I finished the day with Storm getting a final soak and her foot wrapped to go out for the night. Doppler got poultice and standing wraps to go out for the evening. That's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I'm gonna try really hard next week to get back to my normal vlog style for you guys. 
but I have one more week of kind of pure chaos as we get ready for our schooling combined test, and I have the farrier and the vet coming this week, so it'll be pretty crazy, but I promise no matter what to keep you guys updated. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and please, as always, communicate with me. I love it when you guys talk to me. See you soon.